Good Friday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. An area of low pressure moving over south central Alaska today created quite a mess across the Kenai Peninsula and across the Matanuska, Susitna Valleys, and points in between, including the Anchorage Bowl. This afternoon, a 984 millibar circulation wrapped in some warm and wet air, bringing snow, changing to rain, and freezing rain, and then back to snow before the day is through. Creating quite a mess across the Anchorage and Kenai Peninsula included slippery roads and certainly some power outages across south central. Uh, for areas in southeast, snow turned over to rain. That's after some areas are digging out of more than 30 inches of snow, including places near Gustavus. Snow showers will continue to spread northward, but freezing rain may still be a problem through the midnight hours for south central. So freezing rain and winter weather advisories may continue there. Look for winter storm warnings across parts of the central and western interior. That will include places like the lower Koyukuk and middle Yukon valleys, Galena, Nulato, Huslia, Caltag, Ruby, Koyukuk, all under a winter storm warning until 9 o'clock Saturday morning. Snow totals uh, could reach 6 to 12 inches, another 4 to 6 inches is possible through the afternoon and this evening. It will taper off as we head toward morning there. Uh, many other areas in the interior under a winter weather advisory until very early Saturday morning, about 4 o'clock there, uh, as snow and blowing snow and some accumulation of 3 to 5 inches is possible in places like the Yukon Flats and out toward the Tanana Valley and Central Interior. For the Arctic Coast, a blizzard warning remains in effect until 9 o'clock Saturday from Dead Horse East. And it looks like uh, snow and blowing snow will be possible there. Gusts up to 50 miles per hour will remain possible. And high surf advisories in effect until 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon for the St. Lawrence Island and Bering Sea coast there. Meanwhile, for southeast, uh, it appears that storm warnings will continue today. Those should start to ease as we head into the weekend with high pressure taking charge. As we look at Sunday, uh, notice low pressure working across southeastern Alaska at 999 millibars. Another low works its way toward the Alaska Peninsula at 990 millibars. That'll spread another round of snow toward the YK Delta and across the western parts of the Alaska Range. Snow showers will remain possible while partly sunny conditions develop across south central. Parts of the interior under the effects of high pressure will be cold. But look for some areas of fog and snow and wind still possible for the Arctic coast as we head through Sunday afternoon. Your latest weather forecast all weekend long is on weather.gov. Just click on Alaska. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder. Have a good weekend.